This is what Islam is. It is a moral message. Essentially, it is a moral message. To implement that message, it might require weapons. So there is jihad. Jihad is a place. But ultimately, the goal of jihad is not the spilling of blood. The goal of jihad is not primarily to take the lands of other people, though it may come. In Paris, 500 people were shot, 140 were killed. In New York, three policemen were attacked with a machete. Where are the similarities between these two incidences? Well, both were perpetrated by people who identify with the religion of Islam. But is that all? No, it is not. In New York City, the man who perpetrated the attack was under surveillance of the FBI. He was suspected of being an ISIS sympathizer. He was a recent convert who had made statements online. In Paris, France, the vast majority of those who were involved with the shootings in Paris that shot 500, killed 140, were also under surveillance directly by Interpol and the French police. As a side note, many of the attacks that happened in England on London Bridge and even in Germany, many of those attacks were perpetrated by Muslims who identify as Muslims. What is the essence of being a Muslim? Next, courage and conviction. We need to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a generation who will go forward regardless of the costs. Connecting this, this life to the next and disregarding what may happen to them in this world, knowing that Allah Azza wa Jal ultimately will reward the believers in Jannah. This leads us to ask the question, are the people who are committing terrorist attacks in the name of Allah behaving in a manner that is irrational? And how is it that we in the West can help them to overcome the phobias that lead them to commit these terrorist attacks? And is there a link between Islam as a gateway to radicalization for the cause of Allah? If you want to help combat Islamophobia and misinformation about Islam, join this channel, subscribe, and share this content so that we together and all of us can help to dispel the irrational fears that lead to the phobias that are conflated with Islamophobia.